Hey YouTube, Safety here. So I've managed to get the top off and spend about 40-45 minutes cleaning out some insulation and cutting down the side of this. I'd probably say I'm roughly halfway there. Uh, once I get this water tank all the way open, um, I'll be able to pull the, the inner tank out. Sorry, don't mind my dog, he just wants to go for his daily walk. Um, one thing that I've noticed so far is you have to be very careful with cutting because these metal ends are extremely sharp and I have yet to cut myself, but it's always a possibility. Um, if you're planning on doing this yourself, these, what brand are these? I can't even remember what they were. They're um, 18 gauge metal, sheet metal shears or cutters, snippers. Um, I've got a long blade. And I've got a shorter blade snipper. Uh, definitely would not be able to do this without these. At least the physical just ripping it open aspect. You'd have to figure out a way to disassemble it another way. Um, I'm sure there's other tools that people can use. If you have any suggestions, you go ahead and throw them down below for anyone else watching this video. Um, I'd recommend maybe laying out a tarp. Uh, I didn't, so I've got a little bit of insulation spread around. I'll just sweep it up and do my best to keep it all clean. It's in my front yard, but... As you can see, I've been trying to keep all the metal shavings and insulation in a bucket. Avoid getting it spread around. Um, gloves are a must for this project. Um, hammer, regular Phillips screwdriver. Also, this crowbar definitely has come in handy so far. Um, I had to take some bolts off, so I have some vice grips. Otherwise, so far, that's all I've used to work on this project. A lot of muscle. Um, I assume I'm going to have to really wrench at the casing of this to get it open once I actually successfully remove all the sheeting. But for now, I'm just going to continue cutting down that side. Once I get all the way to the bottom, I'll get there. There may actually, people may want to look into figuring out a way to break open this seam. But once I'm done with that, all these pipe fittings look like they're connected directly to the inner tube. So it's just a matter of taking off the side casing, stripping down all the insulation. Luckily what it looks like they did was there's a plastic lining on the outside of the insulation and another one on the inside next to the tube, or uh, the, the metal water tank. So once I'm done with this, it should be fairly clean. I should just have to sand it a little bit and I'll be able to spray paint it no problem. But uh, this video will probably be by itself. I might give a little bit of a of what I'm doing. But stay safe, YouTube.